Um, it definitely helped going to Spain and then having the scrimmage against Oregon State um, this past weekend, um, getting me prepared for like that game-like feeling. So I'm, hopefully I won't be as nervous <laughs> as and I was like in Spain. So when you run out the tunnel the first time and kind of get that, get the opening jitters out of the oh, uh, I've never ran out of the tunnel, but in Spain <laughs> the first game I was very nervous, so. <laughs> Um, each team is a opportunity and good or bad, we're going to learn from our mistakes and we will reach our goal that we have. What did you learn in that scrimmage? Um, we need to rebound. That was, that was probably the most uh, eye-opening thing so far, but we're, we're learning, which is good. Well, we've got a lot of reps and rebounding um, these past practices, and that's helped a lot. We've gotten a lot more like physicality going from that, so that's good. Bonnie, you, you've seen a lot since you started here. I mean, your first year you spent rehabbing, and, and then the last three years, you've got to be really, really excited about your teammates and what you have surrounding you so that you don't have to put all of it on your shoulders this year. Yes. Um it is exciting. Each year we improve, but this is definitely the, the best team that I've been on uh, so far. And um, it's, it's good to have everyone who plays a certain position, they're, they're good in that, in that role. And um, I know uh, Coach Whitaker and everyone has talked about getting back to like that tradition and that legacy, and I feel like this is the team that will help do so. Um, new team, new players. Um, we're we're all on board, and it's it's going to be a great year. Coach, for you, it's been a, kind of a long time coming. For, after you saw the the three players and the, the recruitment for Brittany and others, I mean, you, you got to be just like sleepless in a good way of being excited to, to roll this team out because. See what they can do, do in front of everybody. We're excited, you know, for a lot of reasons. I think just the level of commitment everyone on our team has put in, um, and you know, and, and the returners, you know, they've taken their game to another level. They've um, really committed themselves to being as good as they can be, um, and really, I think, providing a great foundation for our young players coming in, not knowing what to expect. So I feel really good about the foundation that our upperclassmen have. Um, for our younger players and our recruits that will will continue to enter the program. I feel like that is one of the biggest things that you have to get when you take over a program and it takes time. Um, but that that area is, is very strong. Um, I think we have more talent as far as scoring the ball. We're not deep. So, um, you know, that's a concern for me at times. And, and then um, we did learn a lot from the scrimmage. There are things that we have to sure up. We have to be much better at if we want to win at the level that we want to win at and, and the amount of work they put in and how they're competing every day, we've got to do those little things um, and, and be better at them to make sure that we are putting ourselves in a situation to win. Do you have the starting five yet in your mind or that you've, that you've gone, gone through yet or is that still a work in progress? You know, um, in the scrimmage we started um, Rase, Japrice, Yvonne, uh, Brittany, and Jada. Um, in that scrimmage, it showed me that I don't know how, how often we can play both bigs. They have to get in tip-top shape. Um, that was something that came out of the scrimmage. Are we in the best shape that we need to be in to not be very deep? Um, can we really play big all the time? Probably not. So I think you'll see a lot of combinations. There'll be times that we'll have four guards on the floor. There'll be times we may start four guards. I think um, that's what's so beautiful about this team is that there's a lot of versatility and there's so many weapons that we can go in different directions based on, you know, based on need. I think for us, um, leaving the Oregon, Oregon State scrimmage, we saw 
a lot of things that we did well and we saw a lot of things that were very glaring. So we've really focused on those areas and we want to see great improvement there. Um, not so much who are you going um, up against and what are their size. Oregon State was huge, um, long in all spots, um, great rebounding team, but more of the fundamentals that we've been working on. Are you checking out? Are you boxing out? Are you turning and looking um, for people looking to crash the boards? You know, um, Are we rebounding as a team? So there's a lot of little things that we're looking forward to show progress from scrimmage to exhibition. Um, but looking for us to play at a high tempo, have fun, play together, um, and play with a lot of confidence. Is there a lot of excitement knowing that you guys kind of played through this pandemic? I think so. I think our, our kids are always ready to go and love playing at home. Our fans are um, such loyal, fantastic fans that um, you know we, we need them here on Sunday. We want it to be a great environment um, for the first game and, and for them to really, um, our players to really set the tone for our fans at what they can expect every night out. It, it's it's so important, and it's the reason we scheduled the Spain trip when we did. You know, we had, we were looking at when's the right time, and we felt like this was a critical time with so many new people. And and so Spain, you know, I think got us off to a great start. But Oregon State was a huge blessing. I mean, it was um, playing a high high level team that's experienced that went to a Final Four that has a great inside game that shares the basketball that's extremely tough that's has. BCS bodies from top to bottom. So it was it was a great opportunity because you know it, it didn't matter if we win or lost, you know, won or lost. It, all all that mattered was where are we and where do we need to go. That's kind of unique. I mean, that you got to play them. How did that how did that come about? Were they were willing to, to meet you guys halfway and and and, and play you guys? Because it seemed like you had you had a lot to gain from that trip. Absolutely. I th you know I think um, you see that more and more. BCS are trying to reach out to another BCS in a different league and, and try to figure that out. A lot of time people will do it when it's closer. Um, but we felt like we have so many tough non-conference um, road, road games this year. That'd be a great opportunity for us to go on the road. And um, just friends with their staff and talking about, you know, we, we both wanted to scrimmage and just trying to figure out where, that, where we could make that work. Sort of. Uh, usually, our our main concern is just just me playing hard for forty seconds. Or, I mean, sorry, <laughs> forty forty I minutes. I hope you play hard forty seconds. <laughs> Every shot clock, baby, reset. Forty minutes or uh, or just uh, practicing hard daily. Um, I think um, she she still expects the same of me as she did when I when I first got here. So it's not so much that's that's changing. Um, really just to be the best that I can.